Hello and welcome to Novoski.com news on the 9th of November 2020. And yes, it's Monday again and that's time for whiskey news. Yeah, the first news is the Ben Romach, 45 years old. A very, very, very old Ben Romach. And that's even a Ben Romach before the time the distillery was closed in 1983. It was matured in an ex-sherry cast 42.1% ABV and yeah, it will be on the market very soon. In some countries it is already out on the market. Next up, we're hearing something from a new distillery. Yes, we already know the distillery. It's the distillery that Gordon and MacPhail is planning to build in the Kergaum Mountains National Park. And they actually have a name now, and the name is called The Cairn. Um, it actually has a logo that is a cairn as well, and a cairn is something of a stone pyramid. I don't see anything here, it's all a green screen, but you can see the logo here. Yeah, so they finally named their distillery. Hopefully they will get on with the work very soon. Next up, we have news from Wolfburn up in the very, very north. They have just released their batch 204 Madeira cask finish. It was matured for five and a half years in ex bourbon cask, first fill ex bourbon cask, and then it was matured for half a year in Madeira hogsheads. Limited to 5,800 bottles, 46% ABV without coloring, and it is already out on the market, so go and have a look for it. Next up, the classics from Springbank. 2020 Springbank brought out the Springbank 12 years old cask strength. This year it has 56.1% ABV. Then we have the Hazelburn Sherry Wood 13 years old 50.3% ABV. That's all from the Springbank distillery. And also their sister distillery in Campbelltown, the Glen Giles 3 brought, just brought out the Kilcarran 16 years limited edition. It is from 2004, just the year when they um, yeah, opened up the distillery again. So it is the oldest distillery, the oldest malt from the distillery, uh, from the house or from the distillery of Glengyle. Next up, we go to McAllen. McAllen brings out the Easter Elchi Black 2020 release. It's the third and the last bottling from the series and it honors the Easter Elgi estate and it has 50% ABV and yeah the Easter Elgi estate for everybody who doesn't know it is the yeah the mansion on the grounds of the distillery because the distillery ground is pretty big for McAllen and they have a really really old building there then we have the 1979 Mustawi Gordon and MacPhail. Yeah, it's really a gem of a yeah, of a cask. Gordon MacPhail is celebrating their 125th anniversary. I've already mentioned that here, and now they brought out their third bottling to honor that. It's the Mostawi 1979 with 49.8 percent ABV and only 164 bottles on the market. Then we go over to Glen Alaki. The Glen Alaki, 21 years old, was announced. It's limited to 1,600 bottles. The first batch has 51.4% ABV, was matured in PX cars, excuse me, uh, in um, Pedro Seminas cars, and will be available at the end of the month. Then we go to Ireland. The, the Bushmills Irish Whiskey announces the Causeway collection. It's a series of extremely rare and yeah, unique cask maturations from the old Bushmills distillery. Uh, the series starts with two cask strength bottlings. The first one is a 2008 Muscatel cask with 56.4% ABV and only 1,454 bottles on the market. The second bottling is a 1995 Malaga cask with 53.5% ABV and only 4, 000, uh, 2,491 bottles. 
Um, unfortunately, these numbers are very small for Bushmills, and they said they they're looking at an Ireland exclusive edition. So, um, if you want one of these bottles, unfortunately, you have to go to Ireland. Next up, we have the distillery of um, St. Kilian in news. The German distillery of St. Kilian bought themselves the name rights to Bud Spencer. Bud Spencer is that Italian guy, Carlo Pedalossi, uh, and he uh, did many, many, many films together with Terence Hill, and they are yeah, classics. And now, they just bought the names for the Bud Spencer and brought out their first whiskey under the name. It was matured in Amarone cask and ex bourbon cask with 46% uh, percent ABV. And they have a, a very different shape to their normal bottle. And the bottle is uh, shown here. It will be available, at least in Germany, on the 16th of November. But I think they will go international very soon as well. So that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.